Hello YouTube authors, BH Blanket Chip here. Uh, of course, uh, this this topic I'm uh, discussing here is a very serious one. Uh, <coughs> writing female characters. Uh, this video is more geared towards uh, towards male writers. Of course, no. It's open to female writers too, uh, because I'm sure the inverse can also be said, uh, depending on who the author is and, and their personal feelings. But uh, I have noticed there's a problem with some male authors that they tend to write female characters as two-dimensional set dressings. Now they are just uh, interchangeable sex kittens. And as an author and as an old, frankly, a human being, that irritates me greatly. Uh, <clears throat> If if I read your book and five minutes after finishing it, I cannot tell you which female character was who, because you know, the only difference being is a name and a description. Uh, then you have you have failed uh, you have failed as an author. Uh, so you no, know, and while and while uh, women and men do think differently, you know the whole Mars and Venus thing. Uh, Thought, and the thought process is no, they, they are a little bit different. Uh, you know, I've seen an author compared, uh, compare like, you know, the the male mind to departmentalized waffles and the female mind to you know just kind of everything touching spaghetti uh, and uh, different uh, things like that. You know, that's possible like evolutionary differences. You now going back. Uh, thousands of years to the hunter-gatherer days, uh, where it's you no know, certain things are, are hardwired in into our genetics, you no know, ways of thinking and perceiving the world. I mean, yeah, while there are while there are differences, there are also a lot of things that are the same. You know, the same thoughts, feelings. You know, uh, they might go about different ways, but you no. Know, but your female characters really deserve to be fully flesh out, you know, be get to be given the same amount of attention as your male characters. Uh, I've I've read books where pretty much female characters were treated as the author's adolescent harem fantasy. Um, and that that honestly isn't cool. If, if you're gonna have female characters in your book, they deserve the same attention as your male characters. Uh, there is really no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Uh, if you're bad about that, work on that. Uh, if you have to read uh, things like maybe psychology books or something, or just even just observe, you no, know, really try to get into into a headspace. You know, uh, see see what's going on. Like, you no, know, watch watch interactions. You know, it's you you can't have your characters just fall completely flat like that, especially you know. If if they're just being you know, completely objectified, to be honest, uh, that again, not cool. Um, anyway, I'm going to sign out on this one. Uh, YouTube, uh, have a great day, and remember, really work on your characterization all across the board. Uh, be it male, female, hero, villain, just uh, side character, just people. People are complex, some more than others. But, you know, you, you can't let anyone fall just to sheer two-dimensionality. All right. Uh, BH Blinkenship signing out. Uh, have a great day. Hello again. Just a quick reminder that if you found this video helpful, informative, uh, you want to watch more of them, uh, I do have a subscribe button here. Uh, I have other videos you can watch. You can leave your comments below, share the video, uh, any of that good stuff. And I will catch you next time. Have a good one.